Hello, my friends, viewers, and followers. I'm so glad you tuned back in. You can see my dog has taken my armchair and he's sleeping so nicely. I will just let him sleep and film on a chair sitting beside him. So he probably will be in the video meditating with us because today is the first meditation video. Uh, of Philotea and if you haven't watched all the preparation videos I tell you you should because I'm I have prepared you to do these meditations and there's specific teachings um, and specific words that during the meditation you're only going to understand when you have um, listened to the lectures especially the two two or three last lectures before um, this meditation starts and I also wanted to remind you it's okay if your mind is going widely and just going you know nuts your mind is not properly trained really well like muscles uh, you have to train to be able to do uh, bigger lifts or further sprints or to keep running a marathon you most people can't just do it from no practice. So with the meditation, it's the same, to train the mind to stay focused. And there's days when meditation will feel really good and you know, you're know you a little less distracted in days where your mind is just everywhere. And I want to set the focus today where your mind goes. Not to, to condemn yourself uh, if your mind drifts off of this meditation, but to notice where it is going. So um, if you think about uh, your car, then think about if that is an attachment that is um, lots of played in your mind because where your heart goes there where your heart is there your mind goes and so where your treasure is the treasure is in your heart so you will think about it quite a lot so maybe you are distracted by the worries uh, so that's been meditating in your head you're meditating on your problems uh, that's a big thing for for a lot of people or you wonder off what you still have to do your to-do list what will come later maybe a conversation that you will have with somebody and you're already preparing your mind now what i want you to do is when you meditate and you notice that you just drifted off somewhere else that you just don't condemn yourself just come back just come back, come back without uh, being so forceful or, you know, condemning yourself for it. It's okay. Just train yourself to always come back. Your mind wandered off. Okay. Now we're going to come back to the meditation. So just that said, we're going to start our first meditation from the book, An Introduction to the Devout Life of Francis of Sales. This book is also called Philotea. So there are 10 meditations, by the way. We're not going to do them all in a row. Uh, I'm going to have lectures in between and then we're going to like alternate probably uh, the meditations with a uh, lecture. So come into a comfortable seat, just relaxing yourself. There's going to be some pauses where I will just leave you time and space for the meditation. So the first step is to place yourself in the presence of God. Noticing that God is with you, that he's omnipresent everywhere with you right now. And then entreat him to inspire you. Meaning, ask him 
that he will inspire you in this meditation. Looking beyond my feet, concentrate on the presence of God right now. And then we're going to start with our reflections. Reflect for how many years you were not in the world and you had no being. Know that you weren't always here. It's just recently that you have been. Where were though, oh my soul, at that time? The world had existed so long, but though were unheard of. God brought you out of nothing and made you what you are out of his soul goodness without requiring any assistance on your part. Consider the being which God has given you, for it is the principal being of this visible world, capable of eternal life and of perfect union with his divine majesty. He, God, wants to come in union with you. Your body is only a vehicle that has been given to you. Your soul is inside your spirit, inside of you. That's the true you. Affections and resolutions. Humble yourself profoundly before God, saying from your heart with a psalmist, My substance is nothing before thee. Psalm 38. And how hast thou been mindful of me to create me? Alas, my soul, thou wert once a thing of naught, and even such would thou be still, unless God had called thee into being, what then would thus have become of thee? Render thanks to God, O great and good Creator. How much do I owe to Thee, since out of my nothingness Thou hast made me what I am? How can I ever worthily bless Thy holy name and thank Thine infinite goodness? Humble yourself, but alas, O oh my Creator, 
instead of uniting myself to thee, by my love and service, my ill-regulated affection, have made me rebel against thee, separating and estranging me from thee, leading me into sin, causing me to forget thy goodness, and thou art my creator. Prostate thyself before God, O my soul. Know that the Lord, he is thy God. It is he that has made me, and not thou my, thyself. O God, I am the work of thy hands. Therefore, I would no more rest in myself, who I am not. Wherein shouldst thou glory, O dust and ashes? Wherefore exalt thyself, O thing of naught? In humiliation, I will do such and such things, endure such and such contempt. I will live a new life following from henceforth in God's holy ways, glorifying in the existence he has given me. I will employ it wholly in obeying his will as I shall learn it and as my spiritual father shall enjoin. And we come to the conclusion of this meditation. First, thank God. Bless, O oh God, my soul, and let all that is in me praise his holy name. For his goodness has raised me out of nothing, and his loving kindness has created me. Maybe have you, you have a few words of thanks yourself. Thanking God for who you are that you can be here, that you have a purpose in life, a mission, each one of us, and that we have been granted time to turn towards God. Second, make an offering. Oh my God, I offer thee with my whole heart, that being which thou hast given me, to thee I dedicate and consecrate it. And here maybe you, you feel what hinders you. Maybe you feel resistance. Maybe you have fear. Notice it. Just notice it. Get to know yourself, thy weakness, thy fears. And thirdly, pray. O oh God, strengthen me in these affections and resolutions. Holy Virgin, command them together with all for whom I ought to pray to the mercy of thy blessed Son. Let us pray together. And our Father and a Hail Mary. Since I'm praying these prayers usually in German, I need to read them to make sure to have them fluently as well in English. So let's pray the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And whoever wants to join me in German, in Deutsch, 
Vater unser im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name. Dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, wie im Himmel so auf Erden. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld, wie auch wir vergeben unseren Schuldigern. Und führe uns nicht in Versuchung, sondern erlöse uns von dem Bösen, denn dein ist das Reich und die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gegrüßet seist du, Maria, voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen, und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, sh and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ihr seid dem Vater, und dem Sohn, und dem Heiligen Geist, wie es war am Anfang, so auch jetzt und alle Zeit, und in Ewigkeit. Amen. And the, when your prayer is ended, gather together the essence of your devout meditations, as it is where in a little nosegay, in a little bouquet, and keep it before you throughout the day. So just take a few moments with me and remember what we have meditated about. Thou madest from dust and God thought of you to make you, to make you as you are, unique, with all the strength and everything he has built you that you need to accomplish the mission that you have in life. You have a purpose in God. He has so loved you that he made you. He, had, he It says in scripture that he even knows how many hairs you have on your head. He has counted them. So he knows you, who you are, what you have done, and what you're capable to do. When you unite yourself with Jesus, with God, you can live your purpose and be who God meant you to be. Think of that. And take this into your day. I wish you a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day and hope we see us next time again. God bless you and keep you safe. Oh, <laughs>